Today on Capitol Hill, as Dr. Anthony Fauci faced questions on the 2020 coronavirus pandemic and the federal government's response, as ABC's Arena Roy reports, it's Fauci's first public hearing since he left his government role back in 2022. Dr. Anthony Fauci in the hot seat on Capitol Hill. Lawmakers questioning the former director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases about the government's response to the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic. Some zeroing in on mask regulations, social distancing and vaccine guidelines. Business closures. Early on when 5,000 people were dying a day, yes. Church closures. Same thing. Stay at home orders. These were important when we were trying to stop the tsunami of deaths. Fauci denying accusations he meddled in research about where the virus came from. Do you agree that there was a push to downplay the lab leak theory? Not on my part. While the committee chair said the focus of the hearing was to learn lessons and better prepare for the future, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene unleashing an attack on Fauci. Do you think that's appropriate? Do the American people deserve to be abused like that, Mr. Fauci? Because you're not doctor, you're Mr. Fauci in my few minutes. Several Democrats jumping in to defend Fauci. Mr. Mr. Chairman, Fauci, objection. I Mr. Chairman, objection. I reclaim my time. I reclaim my time, Mr. Raskin. Gentle lady will of order. suspend. Mr. Chairman, of order. just in terms of the rules of decorum, are we allowed to deny that a doctor is a doctor just because we don't want him to be a doctor? Republican Chair Brad Wenstrup then stepping in. The gentlelady Prison. will suspend. The gentlelady should recognize the doctor as a doctor. Fauci worked for the federal government for more than five decades before stepping down in 2022, saying he has nothing to hide, testifying voluntarily. At one point, getting emotional as he talked about the death threats he and his family receive. It is very troublesome to me. Um, it is much more troublesome because they've involved my wife and my three daughters. Democrats did acknowledge mistakes were made along the way in general, but called the GOP-led investigations a wild goose chase, saying that they're spreading more misinformation than actually looking at what can be fixed for the future. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.